Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we continue our series on the Bag of Pie modifier add-on for Blender. If you don't have that installed, watch the previous video on how to get that all set up, but not the last uh, two videos ago in terms of the Bag of Pie on where to get it, download it, install it, okay? So I'm assuming that you guys have done that much so far and maybe watched the previous video on Bagapai stairs. Today we are going to make Bagapai tiles, okay? It more like roofing tiles, all right? So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. So we are in Blender. I'll select everything here and we'll go ahead and delete that because we don't need the default cube okay so remember get the context menu just hit J on your keyboard today we are going to talk about tiles bag of high tiles so we're going to click tiles and it's automatically going to put a tile set on the screen in your workspace and by default the tiles are terracotta tiles round okay so let's come over to the modifier stack and let's take a look at some of the options that you have for doing roofing okay using tiles all right so we have the terracotta tiles by default okay and over here in the type field again it's a menu choice so we have the terracotta terracotta we have the terracotta wave and we have some concave t uh, tiles and uh, we have another version of that and then we have some m terracottas or they don't have to be terracottas it's all depending on what type of material that you apply to them today we're going to do a you know a terracotta look you know the red uh, red brick type clay brick type things and let's take a look at some others we got some flat so if you're doing a slate roof okay and i think that's it yeah so you have six choices zero zero through five all right so let's go back to zero which is the default standard uh curved and let's look at some of this now the resolution uh just in all of these modifiers resolution is like how many subdivisions okay it's like adding a subdivision modifier in a way all right, so if we decrease that, you're going to see you're going to see the uh, resolution change, obviously. So depending on how you want your s tiles to look, and if you're doing round, you'll want to increase that. But you have to be whoops, wrong one. Sorry, my bad. But depending on the quality of your roofing and the level of detail that you're doing, whatever law that you're doing, you might want to scale it down or something like that. If you're up really close, you just increase the resolution. And then some obvious, uh, obvious settings is the width of the tiles. Okay, so if I type, I'm just going to change these just so you can see them change. So, and remember, all of this is in meters, okay? So hit enter and you have a, 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 a wider type of tile there, okay? If I hit control Z, it'll just change it back to where it was. All right, so you can change the width. If you do the end width offset, okay, I'm going to put, you're going to look at this Point, look at this point of each tile right here if I type in point 2 you're gonna see that I'm changing the eh, like the taper all right 
So you can change your taper type. Okay, so we're going to control Z, put that back the way it was. All right, so that takes care of the end width. Length is obvious, the length of, of, each, of each tile. If I put one meter in, we get this big long thing. Control Z, all right. Uh, solidify modifier, it's kind of like it has modifiers and modifiers, all right. So solidify is the thickness of the tile, this dimension right here, okay. Right now it is at 0 0.01. If I change that to, I'm going to do it drastically just so you can see it. So there's 0 0.1. So if that was really, really thick, obviously you wouldn't do that. Let's just control Z. All right. The X uh, superposition and the Y superposition is the spacing in between. Okay. Um, so yeah, so if we go X and we go zero, it puts them all together, okay? Puts them together like that. So the X and Y is the separation of each tile. And the tile angle, all right? Now, here's the thing. You have two different type of angles with the tiles. All right, you have the tile angle, and that is each individual tile itself. So if I type in tile angle, and I'm doing things drastically so you can see a drastic change, obviously you would do minute changes. All right, so if I did a point 0.1, you'll notice that every one of them individually, it's kind of like you're rotating uh, your objects on uh, individual um, origins. Does that make sense? All right, so every tile is being changed uh, individually. It's, like I said, I'm repeating myself. Tile angle is just like if you were selecting a whole bunch of different objects and rotating them based on their individual origins okay not as a whole all right so that's what tile angle does so we're going to control z put that back the way it was and if you come down here where it says roof angle this will actually rotate every one of them based on a common point of rotation all right and it's usually your origin of your object which is sitting right here okay so if you wanted a 4 and 12 roof uh, 4 and 12 roof in the world real world is 18 and a half degrees so you type in 18.5 and it will slope your roof for you okay based on the pitch of the roof uh, remember pitch of the roof uh, I said a 4 and 12, okay, uh, 4 and 12, what that means is it rises 4 inches for every 12 inches, all right, so that's a 4 and 12 roof, a 6 and 12 would be it raises 6 inches for every foot of run, okay, rise over run is what we're talking about, okay, 4 and 12, 4 rise, 12 run. All right, and those are in inches, by the way. Uh, for those that do metric, um, I don't. Do you guys use? Do you guys use um, slope like that in when uh, in in metric system? Uh, how do you put it in the comments? How do you guys do roofs uh, slopes in? Uh, Europe and all that kind of stuff whoever uses metric I'd be, I'd be curious to know because I I've never built anything uh, I've never built a building outside of the United States okay but that's how we do slope here in the United States but if you know the angle of each slope that's actually what you're putting in right here so a 4 and 12 pitch roof is actually 18 and a half degrees all right so anyway, leave me a comment. How do you guys, if you guys, if you do roofing or construction, 
Uh, how do you do, uh, denote your pitch or your roof uh, in the metric system? Or do you guys do it 4 and 12, 4 centimeters for, you know, a meter run or whatever? I'd be curious to know. I'm here to learn too. All right, so pretty much the basics of doing roof material using tiles and the bag of pie modifiers. That's really, really kind of all you really need to know. Uh, a lot of these other settings, you don't even see them change, okay? So I'm not going to talk too much about those, all right? Such as ratio, shift, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can make changes to them, but you really don't see the change all that much. And for Flight Simulator, um, a lot of those settings really won't matter because you're not going to get into that much detail um, as, as far as I know. Some of you guys probably do. Most of you modelers are better than I am anyway. Um, oh, by the way, I need to apologize for any background noise that you that you're hearing uh, we got somebody outside doing some work on our car and I also have a 3d print of the fuselage of my 148 1 to 48 scale model of uh, 777 that I'm 3d printing and building so I got that fuselage running for the next 20 20 some hours for that section of the fuselage I have the nose already I think it's sitting way over there on my table. I got the nose section done. I got the nose landing gear. Anyway, I digress, like I always do on this channel. All right, so you get your basic setup of your roof. All right, now I'm gonna show you again, just like I did with the stairs, how you need to think about doing your materials that you're going to apply on this object. All right, one right now, remember, this is all a modifier, okay? You cannot edit all the individual pieces parts until you apply that modifier. And the same goes into, and this is for bag of pie, the same goes into applying materials, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a material. So you're going to come down here to the material uh, socket, and you're going to click new material okay and I'm just gonna leave it at material 001 I'm not gonna rename it but well no let's let's rename it let's go terra cotta okay so we're gonna create a terracotta material and I already have a material made so I'm gonna I'm gonna I mean I have the textures the PBRs that I'm gonna bring in and I'll show you okay so we're, we're in the materials. We're going to come down just like we would normally do using Blender. You're going to come down to the MSFS material parameters. So you have to have the exporter installed in order for this to show up. And I got plenty of videos in the past that shows you how to do that. All right. So we're going to go to the MSFS materials. Oh, by the way. Uh, I put I just put up a channel update that kind of talks about I am going to go back and redo some of my older videos, especially the resources and downloading and setting up your your plugins for Blender and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to redo those videos to make them a little bit more contemporary. All right. But I'm assuming you have the Asobo exporter already installed for Blender. So you're going to come down, we're creating a material for this terracotta roof. You're going to come down to MSFS material parameters, just like you normally would. And we're going to go to standard. And everything else is exactly the same as any PBR in Blender for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, I'm not going to do a double sided because it is going to be double sided anyway. So we're going to come down here to the materials and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose my color for my uh, material and I have that set up already on, I have the textures already set up um, 
I did those in Krita, I got them set up. So here is my roof tile color. So I'm gonna select that and add that to the uh, base color node. And then I'm gonna come down to the occlusion roughness and metallic layer. I'm gonna open up that. And my naming convention is always the name of the texture with an AORM at the end for the uh, ambient occlusion roughness and metallic. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to put that in that slot. And then we need our normal map. So I'm going to open that. Go to that folder. And I'm going to choose the normal DX. Okay. Uh, the normal GL usually doesn't look right. So I'm going to use the DX. And I'm going to plug that into the normal uh, slot. All right. Now notice when I come over here to the view viewport shading and I click on that my texture is not being applied to it which is okay right now we're just creating the material itself for terracotta all right so we have the material set okay but we don't have it applied to our model yet so you're going to come back up to the modifier tab and you're gonna go up to material in the bag of pie modifier and we're gonna choose this and we're gonna choose terracotta now it doesn't look quite right right okay and the reason is is because this is a modifier and the UV map has not been established for this object yet so in order to get your textures to work correctly in Bagapai you have to apply the Bagapai modifier and then create your UV all right so let's do that real quick all right so let's pretend this worked just fine I got it where I want it make sure you're not in edit mode because you can't apply a modifier well some modifiers can but you can't apply a modifier in edit mode so make sure you're in object mode and we're going to come over here and we're simply going to go to the modifier tab which I already am and I am going to go to the modifier and I'm going to apply now this object well let me do let me show you the difference i'm going to control z i'm going to undo that that apply modifier let's go into tab into edit mode and notice i have nothing to edit there's nothing there for me to edit in edit mode because this is all modifiers all right now let's tab out of edit mode with our object selected let's come over here to the bag of pie modifier and go ahead and apply that now, if I tab into edit mode, I now have objects that I can edit. I can select vertices. I can select uh, edges. I can select faces. All right, so now that the bag of pie modifier is applied, it is a, an editable, is that right? Editable, you can edit the object now, all right? And you need to do that. You need to have that ready for when you do your UV unwrap. Okay. So let's tab out of edit mode. So now we have our object. We're simply going to come up to our UV editing. And I'm just going to do a smart, smart UV unwrap to begin with. Okay. So with faces selected, I'll hit A to select them all. I'll come up to UV and we're going to do a smart UV unwrap. Select that and I'm going to choose correct aspect. I'm not going to do scaled bounds. Hit OK and it adds our it adds our uh, UV on top of our material. OK, then I can come up here. I got to want to make sure I'm on my viewport shading. OK. We're going to kind of zoom in here like this. And we are going to come over to the UV side. And we're going to hit S for scale. And we're just going to scale that up. And now you notice that the texture is being applied to every single uh, face 
that is a part of our roof, right? Okay, so you'll just want to play with that to get them to be lined up or something like that. Okay, this is not going to look perfect for this. That's not the intent of this video. It just shows you the kind of workflow to use with Bag of Pie modifiers. So this might look like crap when we get out, but you guys will get the picture and you guys can go in and do your adjustments. Maybe do a different kind of UV uh, uh, unwrap rather than the smart UV unwrap. If you have, uh, if you have the uh, texture, not the texture, the UV tool installed, you have a lot more control. Matter of fact, I'll try to show you that here in a second. All right, so there we go. Let's scale that. It looks like crap. I know that. Let's go into layout and see what that looks like. Yeah, see, that looks like crap. Normally, you wouldn't do that. See, that makes it look like a whole bunch of little terracottas in each one. That's not the point of the video, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go back into UV Unwrap, and I'm going to show you something. I have the uh, UV um, text tools add-on for Blender. Okay, so if I go to text tools add-on for Blender, I have more control of my UV layout. Okay, so I can select all those and I can stack them all on top of each other. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's control Z. But uh, I want faces. I want faces. I want faces. Where is my faces? I got faces. Faces. Yeah, there's faces. Okay. And I can stack them all on top of each other like that. So each individual tile, this is one individual tile. And then I took all of those faces and I stacked them on top of each other. So every tile will get the same part of the uh, PBR in that area. Does that make sense? All right. So... If you look at each one of these, every single one of these are identical because they're all stacked on each other. And then you can place them anywhere on the texture that you want to do. Okay, you may not want to do this in this particular case because you want some randomness. But this is just how the text tools works. So if you don't have the text tools add on for Blender, you can get that. I think there's a description in the video where to get it. All right. But you can move that around and uh, work on that. And if you wanted to like rescale everything, you can rescale and make them a little bit whatever you want to do. Okay, something like that. All right. So every there's a lot of moss, a lot of moss on that roof. You might want to put maybe the moss on one side. But like I said, this is not a detailed. Uh, texturing video but it just shows you how you need to apply uh, textures after doing Magapie modifier so let's go into layout again and see what our roof looks like yeah it may not be perfect right 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 yeah come on Christopher get on the ball all right so we created a simple terracotta roof using the Magapie modifier Okay, now once you apply the modifier for Bag of Pie, you can't make any changes to it. Okay, you can't change the style of tile or anything. You need to make sure before you start applying your materials that you have the model the way that you want it. Okay, so if you wanted slate tiles, you got to do all of that ahead of time before you apply that modifier to put the textures on, all right? So understand that. That's that's the thing about mod, uh, bag of pie modifiers. Make sure you get your model the way that you want it before you apply it. Because once you apply those modifiers, you can't make any changes to the actual model itself in terms of changing its style, okay? You can go in now that it's... I mean, you can go in and select, go into edit mode and select vertices and move them. Like, for instance, I can select this one and move that, all right? But I, 
why why would you go through all that to make a flat slate roof when you can just do it with the modifier ahead of time right okay so anyway i digress or did i so that is using the bag of high modifier hit let's get out of edit mode hit j so you can see that context notice a bunch of uh, previous grayed out things are now white because you can apply modifiers to to different uh, parts of your model at, if you have a object created but for these first few videos we're just looking at this context area all right so last time we did uh, linear stairs spiral stairs is the same except they make spirals going up and then this video we dealt with making roof tiles all right the next video is going to be doing floors all right which is almost the same except the style is a little different so i hope that you found this um this video helpful for doing bag of pie tiled roofs and i will see you guys on the next video we'll see you later